It's leading off here in the fourth. We're 1-1 here, Oklahoma and Cal State Bakersfield. Second game of a four-game series. We'll wrap up tomorrow with a doubleheader starting at noon here at Hart Field. It's supposed to be another beautiful day tomorrow. If you're in the area and you're going to come out here, you better bring your sunscreen. You're going to need it. Put John with a uh, telling it back. Put John flying to right in his first at bat. Pitch up high, one and one. Grote John, a junior outfielder out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Cal State's been bringing in some people out of that area over the years here. So Bill Kernan, the former head coach here, who just retired at the end of the last season, uh, had a few Arizona guys, and he really likes going out of the Lancaster area, several players out of that area. All right. Coach John tried to check his swing and the ball boring in on him and the ball hit his bat. For a foul ball, makes the, keeps it at one and two count. Looked a little bit disgusted that he got a, didn't get the second ball there. One one here in the bottom of the fourth. Another high fastball at 95 from Alec Hansen. He seems to be in a pretty good rhythm himself here. The runners did touch him for a run here in the third, but uh, here we'll see what happens here in the fourth. 2-2 two -two pitch and fly ball to center and the center fielder is underneath of it. And again, that makes one out here. Steel Walker on the play. Roach on second Jones. fly out. Malik Jones, one of the young men out of the Lancaster area, mentioned a moment ago. He's coming into the game at the 271 average. Grounded to short his first time up. It's a junior third base shortstop. Plays for full time shortstop this year. Bluffs a bunt. Bunts through the pitch actually for a strike, even in the count at one and one. Third baseman back behind the bag saw that, but missed the pitch. Haley into his windup, the one one. Breaking ball stays high, two and one. One out here, bottom of the fourth. Malik Jones batting. Catcher Jake Ortega on deck. He beat out an infield dribbler up the first baseline his first time at bat. Haley into his windup. 2 1 pitch. Swung on and popped up. Right foul back, back behind here. us out of play. And easy catch there. One of the few people wearing a jacket caught yeah. it. He must be an old ball player. He didn't have any problem with that. No, not at all. He was never left to see it, I don't think. Let's see if he gives it to a young young kid here. Don't get I, excited. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna just keep it. I'd keep it. Don't you keep it? I had one last year. I gave it to a cheerleader. Did you? Yeah, cheerleaders here, nicely hit up the middle. So Malik Jones takes it right up the middle for a single. Yeah, he's actually walking down and the foul ball was hit and it, it bounced right on the uh, metal stairs that you know you go down here and real easy, one on one hop, one handed it and I was on my way down and I just looked and there was a gallon of cheerleader out there right behind me and said, here, you can have it. Nice. I was going to have to give it back anyway. You know, I don't think the media were allowed to keep the ball. Who says? Yeah. Actually, I was looking for a child, and there wasn't one around me. That's why I gave it to the girl. Jones uh, at first base. A little bit of a lead now. Ortega at bat. Jones is 0 for 2 on stolen base attempts this year. And fouls that one back into the cars. Got pretty good speed. Ortega had a single in his last at bat. Yeah, it took a full swing and hit a little squibber right up the first base line that uh, trickled off the grass, but stayed fair. A little, a little, a little I shouldn't even call it, I should clarify that. It was this peculiar little foul ball or a uh, bunt that got through the whole thing. 
Yeah, it wasn't a, it was not a bono, a, uh, what do you call it, traditional bunt, yeah. it was a swinging bunt. He slapped it. There we go, the pitch. And smokes it foul down first base side. 0-2 pitch now. Ball went between first baseman and uh, first base coach Justin Roberts. 0-2, oh, Haley's ahead of the count here. This one, he likes to throw that breaking pitch when he's had the runner hitters on, on two of strike counts. Here's the pitch. That was a fastball. Yep, swing and a miss, 95 miles an hour. That's one of his faster pitches we've seen here in a bit. Ortega was right on that pitch, fouled it straight back. Good location down and away toward the outside corner. Here comes the 0-2 pitch now from Alec Hansen. And I tell you, Ortega's making them work. That was a breaking ball that uh, he's gotten you, called strikes on. You and uh, like these at-bats, though. You know? I mean, this is the kind of a bats you, you like because it makes the guy you know, labor a little bit. Coming up is uh, Seelman, who struck out in his last appearance. One all score here. Four hits each for both teams here in the bottom of the fourth. Lewis Amistoy and Jeff Evans on the call. Hope you're enjoying your day here on Friday. This is the second of a four game series and it's been a good one so far. Good game last night. And we have a good one here going right now. Bakersfield and Oklahoma are intertwined already culturally in many ways. And then here on the athletic fields and courts to this weekend, they are definitely intertwined. So a little bit of a battle here between these two programs and a weekend you will not forget if you're a B, uh, CSUB fan. Oh, excuse me. Dropping pins here on the ground. Be interesting to talk to the OU guys you know, about the visibility of playing in California. Challenge fastball there, fouled straight back, another 95. It comes out here because, you know, as you mentioned, they have five, six guys on the roster, so you come out here and play. That's another right. little recruiting. Uh, hey, you know, hey, you've come to our program. You get a chance to maybe go home and play in front right. of your friends and family. Lifted to left field on a one-two count, easy. And that's going to do that one. Left fielder Haley just basically moved about two steps. Sealman will come up now. Drew Sealman. Two down now in the bottom of four. Still 1-1 one, one tie. Both teams, one run, four hits, no errors. Malik Jones, who singled, is at first with two outs now. Wondering if he might take off and try to steal his way into scoring position. That's what OU's thinking as Alec Hansen throws over to first to drive him back. Yeah, you look at the roster for CSUB, and very few out-of-state players. Looking at the roster here, you have Scottsdale, as you mentioned before. That's uh, Carter. Or, I'm sorry, Ryan Grojohn from Scottsdale. Yeah, pretty much that's kind of standard. You know, you're dealing with the scholarship monies, and then the out-of-state fees are higher than in-state, so, right. you know, they're... Down the, out of the international kids, which they don't really have too many of those in baseball usually, but you do get some waivers on that, which helps some of the bottom line dollars. Foul ball. People familiar with the Bakersfield basketball team, for instance, Ali Ahmed out of Egypt. Right. Um, on the women's team, Badabe Zampari, who's from Ghana, they, uh, I'm sure, were getting waivers, so they didn't get nailed with the, the high fees there. Right. Now, back before Horace Mitchell was president here, they very rarely, if any, athletes ever got those waivers. But... Uh, since Horace Mitchell's arrival, I believe he got here in 2005, they've been much more open to allowing athletes to have some of those waivers. Obviously, other students that are non-athletes get those waivers as well. Oh, one pitch now here. And Seelman showing blunt. And back to first pickoff play there. Jones was kind of leaning, looked like he'd get him, and it didn't happen. Yeah, Jones broke a little bit, took a couple of steps, because it looked like the ball might get away from the catcher. but. Right. The uh, catcher uh, ran that and made a nice play and then uh, whipped the ball over to first. Dorenzo's throw a little bit late there. 
Back to first. They're definitely aware of the runners here. They're trying not to let uh, too big a lead over there. And Jones is not that far off the base, so uh, not going to get a great jump probably if he does try to take off. And the pitch fouled right back. On the hands there. Hansen's been very sharp. For someone coming in with a lot of walks, he's really uh, hasn't, uh, he has not issued a walk. No, he's, I'm sorry, Metzger walked in the third. That's the only walk he's issued. Right. He hit uh, Fraley in the first, but. Uh, Been pretty good since then. Well, he came in with 10 walks in 15 innings uh, coming in and uh, one walk so far through, you know, we're through three and two thirds tonight. What amazing, you don't walk people and you're pitching a tough game. Right. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped into the catcher's glove. Seelman goes down for his second strikeout of the game. 